What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and in this video I want to address the question of whether we're about to encounter a battery supply shortage for electric vehicles. This question came to mind this week because I read an article that said that Jaguar was scaling down production due to supply demand problems. This seemed a little bit surprising to me because the context of this article mentioned LG Chem. Of course, LG Chem is the known supplier of the iPACE and LG Chem has been doing all sorts of deals with a lot of European automakers. And I also heard and has been confirmed that LG did a, an agreement with Tesla to help them produce their cells in Shanghai for the Gigafactory. So I started doing a little bit of research because I was really curious to know why not only Jaguar was running into some supply issues, but other automakers have been rumored to run into supply issues like Mercedes in their EQC. Yesterday, I reached directly out to Jaguar to get some more clarity on what the issue is and why there is a supply constraint, and here's what they said. Jaguar Land Rover has adjusted production schedules of the Jaguar I-PACE in Graz due to temporary supplier scheduling issues. We are working with the supplier to resolve this and minimize impact on customer orders. Jaguar also said that this was not tied to the Corona virus. Because that quote didn't specifically state that it was battery supplier scheduling issues, I followed up with an additional question about whether this was tied to LG Chem. And the response was, it is related to LG Chem facility in Poland. Not sure we have any more details than that. This response of Jaguar doesn't really indicate where the specific bottleneck is. Is it with the cells? Is it with the modules? Is it with the packs or raw materials or something else? So I started doing a little bit of digging into this facility in Poland and learned that the max capacity for these two facilities that are in Poland is 120 gigawatt hours of cells. And I did a little bit of back of the napkin math and determined that for one gigawatt hour is one million kilowatt hours of battery cells. This equates to about 1.2 million battery packs if we use a 100 kilowatt hour basis. There should be more than enough volume of cells to be able to facilitate not only Jaguar's volume, but everyone else who is producing electric vehicles in Europe. So I'm not quite sure where this holdup is, and I really would love to learn. I also reached out to LG Kim, but I have not heard back from them, and if I do end up hearing from them, I'll go ahead and add a comment and pin it to the top. So to address this question at the beginning of the video of whether the automotive industry is going to run into a supply demand issue for battery packs and cells, I don't think that's the case. If I were to put my finger on where this bottleneck is, I would guess to say that you've got so many automakers who are trying to get the supply of a handful, a small handful of battery cell makers. And it's really who's going to pay the highest price for these cells. But the automotive industry, of course, is trying to make sure that they've got the right margins and the margins for electric vehicles are tight as is. This is a big reason why I think Tesla's put so much time, energy, and money into controlling as much of that cell production process as possible. Back in 2012 and 2013, when Tesla announced this joint venture with Panasonic, it probably seemed like a huge risk, especially to the investors of Panasonic doing a JV with such a new company as Tesla. But now, in hindsight, it looks like to be a stroke of brilliance because now they've got a foothold on the best cost per kilowatt hour in the industry. On top of that, Tesla's been making even more moves in the last 12 months to control more of that cell production process with acquisitions of companies like Maxwell and Highbar and other unmentioned companies that have to do with cell supply, cell research, this is why so many of us in the Tesla community and the retail investor community are looking so much forward to this Battery Investor Day. Tesla will finally reveal what's behind the curtain and what they've been working on to control their own destiny with cell production and cell supply. 
I expect for a lot of the automotive industry to follow suit with how they can control more of their own cell supply, continue to drive down the cost of the battery packs, increase margins on their vehicles, as well as decrease sale price and make electric vehicles more available and more affordable to more people across the globe. This is why you're hearing announcements like GM and LG Chem doing a joint venture in Ohio and VW doing a joint venture with Northvolt out of Sweden. These automotive companies have to find ways to push down the cost of one of the most fundamental parts of electric vehicles. That wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching and a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters and for funding this channel. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch everyone on the next video.